We're going to do a quick uh, demo of the latest build of uh, Thief Fan Mission Manager for the New Dark versions of Thief and System Shock 2 and for the sneaky upgrade build of Thief 3. Uh, basically it's a DLL that uh, you configure your New Dark version of Thief and System Shock 2 to launch upon launching of the game. So I'm going to click on Thief here. It is going to bring up the mission manager selector. Um, and the window looks the same. There are a few differences to it now. Um, first off, we have return to Thief Fan Mission Manager so that when you're done playing your game, if that was checked when you went into the game, um, it will reopen this. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and click here. Actually, I'm going to pick a smaller one. I'm going to go ahead and click here to play it. The game launches up. Now I quit the game. And the box comes back, or the program comes back. Alright, so on the left hand side we've got our grid that has all of our Thief 1 missions um, in it because it knows that uh, we launched from Thief 1. If we want to view all the missions we can, just to see. And we've got a new feature called Switch Game here up in the top. And what we can do is we can switch to a different game from this window. So let's say I want to play um, a System Shock 2 game. Right now I'm in the Thief 1 thing, so I can't really play it. If I try to play it and I click on it, um, it tells me it's a System Shock 2. We can't run it in Thief Gold. Okay, so let's switch the game to System Shock 2. Comes right back. Now we're in System Shock 2 mode and I can run the game. Now it's going to load. Alright, we're in the game. You can hear the noise, but you can't see the screen. Sorry about that. I'm going to quit the game because we had returned to the mission selectors uh, checked. Um, it came right back. Alright, so we have our total mission files, total display. That's because we're displaying them all. If we just display the game we've got open, there's 12. If we want to search, we just start typing here. And let's say I want to find that ancient game. There it is. Just start typing. And it will filter as you type. Uh, we can rate the games using the rating column. Like I can just go ahead and boom, click that there. Now you see there's three stars. I can get rid of them by clicking right here. I or getting it down to none is kind of tricky, but I did it. All right, we got a column here. We can say, yes, we completed it. And we can even say what level we completed it on if we want to. Uh, this column, I don't know, just thought it would be uh, interesting to see what all the different file types each mission file had in them. So we've got that. Uh, directory is where the zip file exists. Install folder is the install folder that it will be installed in or unzipped to within the main uh, installed mission folder that we defined in settings. And the hash, um, we're going to put that to future use maybe of checking for identical files. So already it's being used if it, it hashes any new files that appear and if they match a hash that's already in here, it's not going to add a duplicate file. Uh, in settings, we can go into settings and we have this new section here, game exes. The reason we, we added that is so that we can switch back and forth between games. Um, you can also drag executables in here to change this or you can use the buttons to browse. Same thing with uh, folders. If you just want to select a bunch of folders that you have your fan mission archive files in and drag them into the here, they'll be automatically added. You can set your defaults uh, for the return to Fan Mission Manager and Max Cache. Max Cache is only available in Thief 1 and Thief 2 because um, they're the only ones that supported that. So you only see that down here when you're in a Thief 1 and Thief 2. Uh, that's about it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, we got our note score tags here. Uh, figured out how to use the Garrett Loader website's API. 
and uh, we can now um, basically use that interface here so if we select a game like return to UNN and we want to see what the community score is on it probably nothing there oh yeah the community score was six and you can upload your own score uh, we also want to see what tags are available on it we can click download tags and nobody marked any are we gonna find any on any of these download tags for that nope Christine probably won't find any let's switch to let's switch to all missions and let's look at Golden Fort Knox I think there's tags there so if we download the community score we got a five download the tags nothing there either come on show me something all right this is oh there we go we finally got some yep there's some tags and you can change them change them and then upload your changes uh, we got this um, this was taken from Garrett Loader on uh, how to score fan missions and this links to the same page that Garrett Loader does when you click on that icon and it should bring it up here soon yep and there it is so that's um that's basically the newest stuff um, if you got any questions you can leave me a comment on the video contact me on through the looking glass forums you can find me there um, or let's see you can uh, send me a message when you donate via twitch or paypal <laughs> uh, I know shameless plug but uh, you know what they say starving developers uh, that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you use it let me know if you have any problems with it thanks a lot